You're now watching video one of three. In this video, I'm going to be making the pastry cream for our raspberry tart in video three. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to be making a really yummy raspberry tart that has a pastry cream filling underneath. And for this video series, I'm going to start off with a very simple pastry cream. And here are the ingredients that we need. So I've got a cup of milk here. I have three eggs. We're only going to need the yolks, okay, for this recipe. I have two tablespoons of butter. I've got one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I have three tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So for this video here, I'm only going to make the pastry cream and then we're going to move on and we're going to make the crust for our raspberry tart. So right now, these are the ingredients for the pastry cream, so let's get started. All right, so our first step in making the pastry cream is to heat our milk. So I'm gonna get our milk into our little pot here, and I'm gonna get my heat going. And I wanna bring this up to a simmer, just kind of almost a boil. So I'm gonna, we just wanna heat it up enough. So I'm gonna let that go and I'm going to gently push that over to the side and we're going to start separating our eggs. So I'm just going to let that go. Make sure it's on. Yes it is. Alright. And we'll start on the eggs. Alright. Let's start separating our eggs. We need three yolks. And that's no yolk. There's my first one. There's number two. So there we go, that's three yolks. All right, so what we're gonna do, we've got our egg yolks, and our milk is almost ready. I'm just gonna get this mixed up a little bit here. I'm gonna add in the vanilla. And the sugar. and the cornstarch. Well, at this point here, what we're gonna do is now that our milk is at the right temperature, it's very hot but not boiling, I'm gonna take the, mil the milk here and I'm gonna slowly pour it into our mixture. And I do not wanna cook the egg, so I wanna do this very slowly. And if you're doing this by hand with a whisk, you have to whisk constantly. Alright, now at this point what we want to do is we want to get this back onto the heat because we want it to thicken. So I'm going to pour it back into the pot. Let me just bring that over here so you can see. And we're going to get that back on the element and I will slide that over so you can see it. There we go. And you can either continue to mix with a mixer or if you want more control and you can actually feel it thickening up you can just use a whisk. So at this point right now I'm going to get a little heat into the pot and I'm just going to continue whisking. The only thing that we have left is the butter which we're going to add at the end. Now 
and I can already feel it thickening now at this point. I'm just removing it from the heat because I don't want to scorch the bottom. Go. You can feel it really thickening up. You can do that. Put it back on just to introduce a little heat to the pot and then remove it. You do not want to scorch this and this scorches very very quickly. You can see it magically turning into pastry. At this point I'm going to turn my element off. See how quickly that element introduces heat as soon as it touches it started bubbling and at this point that is done so I'm going to move my little cooking element away I'm going to get this down and we're going to pop in our butter what this will do is it will it will it's going to add another dimension of creaminess and silkiness to the pastry cream but what it also does is drop the temperature of the cream as well. And there we go, that's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get a bowl and we're gonna put it in a bowl and we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and we're going to cool it. Alright, so I've got myself a little bowl. We always want to use a spatula. Make sure that we get all of our ingredients out of the pot. We don't want to waste anything. So we'll just get it all out. And when we put the plastic wrap on, we don't want to put the plastic wrap just over the top of the bowl. We want to actually touch the cream, the pastry cream. Otherwise, a film will, you know, appear on the cream. We don't want that. So I'll grab some plastic wrap here. And I'm just going to cover it. And actually touch the cream, the surface of the cream, the pastry cream. This will prevent any skin from forming. And at this point now, this is done. So what we want to do is we want to put this in the fridge and chill it down. So this is going to be the end of this video and then I will link to the next portion which is where we're going to be making our pat sable which means a, a very like a sweet kind of crust for our raspberry tart. So I will end the video here and the link will be there and you can head over and watch the next step.